<laughs> hey guys, it's Abby again, and um, I have a book review today, and sadly this is not going to be a really good one. I was really kind of disappointed with this book. Um, I thought I'd like it more because I'd read it, read it when I was younger, but I guess when you're younger you like certain things more, and as you get older you stop liking them. So this is The Fire Within by Crystal Lacey, and I was really excited to read this book and was just kind of let down by it. Um, I will run this like my other reviews. I will read you the synopsis that's in the book. I will give you my synopsis and then tell more about the characters of the story. So this one is when David moves in with Liz and her 11 year old daughter Lucy, he discovers a collection of clay dragons that come to life. David's own special dragon inspires him to write a story which reveals the secrets behind a mystery. In order to solve the mystery and save his dragon, David must master the magic of fire within, not only with his hands but also with his heart. And it sounds really good, and the story is very much like that. The problem I have with this book is that, for some reason, it keeps changing about his opinions about these dragons. Like, there's times when I think he thoroughly believes that these dragons are real, but then he keeps questioning the owner of this house, you know, these dragons are just clay, they're not real, and it's just like, make up your mind, like, all of that, and then... Um, David's a fun character, and Lucy's so adorable, she's a little 11 year old, who absolutely loves stories and squirrels. Most of this book is about a squirrel, so I guess that's probably why it wasn't really entertaining for me anymore. But, um, I mean, it was easy to get through, I mean, the print in here is absolutely huge, and it took me just about a day to get through, maybe even less, and, um, Liz is kind of the typical mom in this book. She is, you know, always worrying about Lucy and not wanting her to give away the secrets of the dragons, but wouldn't you want to tell your tenant who's living in your house about them? And, um, yeah, I just, I just didn't really like this. I mean, the ending was cute, I'll have to admit, but it just wasn't the right story for me, I guess. And, um, I mean, I liked it, but it wasn't great. So I give this about two and a half stars, probably. That's why I don't have so much to say about it. Um, I'd recommend this to definitely a younger crowd, probably around 11 or 12 years old. It would probably be a good intro to dragons for them. So I think that's all I really have to say about this, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye.